because I like him and that's me. Well, I appreciate that. The rules we need new things, IBF belt first up. A lot of new things that you have to get used to. Yeah. Madness, madness. Uh, it's a bit of a madness, but I like it, you know. This is not drama, I'm not involved. How many of them are you being most good with them? That's how many's gonna be in there. Like, sorry. It's all right, no, you think that. It's a kind of order, man. He's just sorting the tickets out, so he's gonna freestyle this. Spare tickets? See, this is what happens when you become a superstar. Fighting for your belt, you got people wanting free tickets. How many people have you got sliding in wanting uh, VIP all access tickets? Yeah, it came from just my dad and Joby to about 12 people now, so it is a bit of a madness, but more the merrier, more the berry. It is uh, your first belt. Um, is it the right belt? Do you, are you not like, do you want to go down the domestic route or are you happy to go state international? Yeah, something like this is a good belt because it gets your rankings of course, but when you do go down this route, you can still do, still go down the domestic route, you're not, you're not cutting your nose off. But seven fights in IBF International, will look good uh, on the wall somewhere. You know, people love talking about all the brash things you do, but you did something nice. I, I, I found out the other day, your last opponent, you had him in camp, oh, yeah. which obviously would have been work for him, because obviously he's not done it for free, so how did that come about? Yeah, at the end of the day, um, we're enemies so in the ring. You put a character on in the ring, but when you're away from the ring, you're friends, you know, you're both trying to fight for your families, you're both trying to make way of life. So I had him down and I had a, you know, the Italian I fought. I had both of them down. At the end of the day, if it can help them, it can help me. We both bouncing off each other's energy. That's what boxing's about. It's one big family. So it, it was good. It was nice. How important is it that your fans know that? Because people just judge you on the brash stuff that we see on camera, the stuff that goes viral, but that kind of stuff behind the scenes, people don't see that. At the end of the day, I'm a normal person. You know, I've come from humble beginnings. My mum's worked two jobs, dad's worked two jobs. Um, I've, I've been taught wrong from right, but when the cameras are on, I just shine, you know, I, mean, I go into my alter ego, but I'm a normal person away from that. If I can help people out, I can help them out, and that's what I do. And then going back to the brash stuff, you had bras and knickers chucked at you today in pink. Were you happy with the colour first? You know what, I'm more of a dark blue or red. It's not really the colour I like. They look a bit worn as well, but at the end of the day, I, I, I thank him that he brought something out for me. Uh, what what cup are they? I don't even know. What cup are they? They're quite expensive as well. Fifty pounds. Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> Victoria, hey. Ah, oh, they got stains on and everything. Uh, I, I just hope they're not used. But uh, did any punches or slaps get in? You you're, you're looking well. I can't see any marks. Yeah, you know, I, I, close distance. I make everything miss, man. So. It went like that, straight past the whiskers. But at the end of the day, it's all for the cameras. There's nothing to it. I don't buy into it. When you get in your hands wrapped and you start warming up, that's when you switch on. So all that rubbish is for the cameras. Right, uh, Benzo, I'm going to let you go because I know you need to eat. I appreciate your time, brother. See you soon, yeah? Thank Take you, care. Man.